So let's have a look at replacing the battery in your Amarok. It's a simple job, but something that I think many people haven't done before that you can very easily do. So the first place we'll start with to get the battery out, you need to take your ECU out. You don't really need to remove it, but you need to shift it a little bit. It's got two 10 millimeter bolts right there and there. You need to take them out so that you can lift this and get it out of the way to get to the 13 mm bolt sitting right between the battery and the ECU um, which is actually holding the battery down. Then next you need 10 mm, a 10 mm spanner or socket to um, loosen up the nuts on the terminals and this whole plastic part will come off. It has two clips here. You can take a screwdriver, push it in here and you can actually clip this off. Then with this clipped off you can remove this and you can get to the little nut, the 10 mil nut, on the um, positive terminal. So um, let's quickly go ahead. I'll first remove the, the negative terminal. The reason for this is it's not really necessary, but in the, in the event that you touch your chassis or your body or anything while working on positive, if you have negative removed already, you won't have any spark overs. So it's not really needed, it's not the correct or the wrong way or anything, but it does prevent some sparks if you can't keep your spanner um, from, from touching the body. So let's quickly go ahead. Um, so we'll use a 10 mm spanner and we'll undo the negative terminal. You might also need to plug out your vent pipe. And um, next let's go ahead and undo this one. On the positive side you don't need to you don't need to undo them all the way just loosen them up and you'll see the whole thing will come loose then once you've done that you'll see that this whole part is actually coming loose and um, we need to take this part off and clip this part as well Right, and when you've done that, you'll see that this whole part with the fuses in actually comes off the battery. So that's loose, we'll leave that right there. And then we'll go ahead and undo the bolt sitting right down there. Um, it's a little bit more difficult to reach with the spanner, so you might want to use a socket for this. Um, and then of course, one of these magnets are also very handy. Um, to pick out your bolts. You'll see the bolt looks like that and then it's got a little plate that sits like that that holds onto the bottom lip of the battery. Um, once we've got that all done we can slightly lift the battery on this side to just slide it out. Once you've got it there you can lift this up. This will drop back and you can with a little bit of effort, wiggle the battery and take it out. Now, if you're not buying a battery specific for your Amarok and you're buying an aftermarket one, you need to make sure that the that the polarity is the right way around when your when your poles are sitting on this side that you've got positive on your right hand side, negative on your left hand side. You do get different batteries. Um, this is the larger one of the two that they specify for the Amarox. I know the later models they actually specified a little smaller battery. I always try and put the largest battery in that my tray will accept. And um, and also VW does have a does have an Econo series batteries. It's a Exide that comes from Spain. It's really good batteries if you're not going for something like a Varta or something like that, which is really much more expensive and at least in South Africa these batteries do compete very well with the local prices as well you don't have to hand a battery back to them for actually getting this one um, I've been fitting these batteries in a lot of different cars and I've had very good service from them so that's about it I'll quickly go and put it back and just reconnect it um, on a VW there's no need to keep power on your terminals I've changed plenty of batteries and I've never done it. I've never had a problem with the ECU or any electronics acting up. Um, if you do remove your battery, 
I've never seen it on a VW, but you can maybe get a radio that's requesting a code. You can get some lights on on your dash, especially lights for the electric steering, which will clear itself once you once you've driven them around the block. So that's about it. I'll quickly go and put it back, and um, that's how you replace your battery. It's really simple. There's no funnies to it. Um, just get a get preferably a 13 mil socket with an extension and a ratchet or something and a 10 mil spanner and a flat point screwdriver and that's what you'll need so yeah if you like this videos please subscribe to my channel and um, yeah that's about it let's go put it back quick After that you'll see there's a little slot that the bracket slides in to put your ECU back in place. So we'll put that in the correct position and tighten these two bolts. nice little pushes on the sides and it's locked in place and that's it your new battery in cheers